All right. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go into the cellar. There's a cellar here somewhere. Yeah, it's right behind you. Like literally. I don't <laughs> see one. Are you? <laughs> oh my God. Shadowheart just never changed. She's standing on the door. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, we don't got you here for your perception, Shadowheart. We got you here for your guidance. All right, we are back in Baldur's Gate 3, and we are picking up exactly from where we left off in the last episode. If you did not watch that episode or did not watch all the way to the end, I got to learn firsthand that you need to read the fine print on the spells you pick up. RTFM, or read the effing manual, as they say. Because I attempted to, well, I'm going to say, I successfully charmed the leader of the Druids. Haythik is a charming fellow. You can't pull off a hat like this without some charm. Come on. But we did indeed successfully charm the leader of the Druids for however a short window it was. But when that charm spell wore off, oh boy, was she upset. And she and all of her friends in the room began attacking us in your honor. It was self-defense, but unfortunately we had to kill everybody in that room, including Nettie, the person that we were there to see who was going to help us with our tadpole. So I don't know what we're going to do now. Although we do have a lead on what I guess is the actual leader of the druids or like their scientist. We, we found his like laboratory and like his like books and research on tadpoles. And so I guess we're going to go look for him. But to do that first, I believe we're going to have to get out of the grove. We found a back way out of the room that we were in because it seems while I don't know what the video game logic would have been. I think for these guys, it made sense not to walk out the front door of a room where we had just killed a bunch of druids because there were a lot of druids in that grove and some I'm sure were very high level. I don't think they put the druidic interns on the closing the grove spell. So instead we snuck through an entire cave system which popped out into another cave system, which is where we're going to be in a minute. We're in the middle of a long rest. But I hope, my hope is that we are at the edge of the grove or outside of the grove or like just at near the, the front door of a cave that leads to the exit of the grove because I don't know that we have what it takes to fight our way through a whole bunch of druids. But when we did leave off, there were some tieflings that were being attacked by what I'm going to guess were druids. We'll find out in a minute. But that's basically where we're at. So we've already talked to everybody in the camp. The only thing left to do is uh, have a quick meal with our camp supplies and our camp companions, grab some shut eye and see what fresh horror awaits us. All right, let's jump in. Looks like the ritual worked. The whole grove is walled in. <gasps> no! No, 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 no! Oh my god, no! Oh my god. My... My tiefling bard I was gonna be friends with. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Well, I... <laughs> I can't seem... I can't catch a break in this game. So... First of all, uh, I, it has absolutely come to my attention that this is not the, the making every druid on earth mad at you is not the scripted outcome of the game. I clearly have stepped in it, which I love, by the by. I say this all the time on the channel, that uh, a book with a sad ending doesn't make it a bad book. In fact, that's some of my favorite content is uh, content that deals with strife and struggle. And if a game puts effort into uh, punishing characters, I am absolutely there for it. This is this is exactly why I play games like Kenshi on the channel. Um, but man, I keep stepping into it in this game. <laughs> so we've we've gotten, I guess, all the tieflings killed. Uh, and then I took a short rest, this, uh, a long rest, assuming I was gonna have to fight a bunch more druids to help the tieflings that we did see getting attacked. And now, I guess they're just dead. I don't know. I if I if I touch this. I'm only going to get to travel to one of these other spots that we've... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Here's the grove. And where this is... Okay, so this is a back way into the grove. It doesn't look like there's a way through here, but we could walk back over here. I would be interested to see, first of all, are we going to get attacked on site? Number one. We probably will by the grove. Number two, there was a tiefling bard in there that I never got to play loot with. And I wanted to try doing that. I was so distracted. She had like a five minute music video out of nowhere. And then I found this hat and I was just completely distracted by all that. So I didn't get to do that. My other question though becomes, I'm going to assume video game logic is going to soundly put these guys very hostile to us around here. But the big question that I have, and this is going to be very interesting about how Larian is handling and preparing for like all the inevitable outcomes of, of player choice and freedom. How is, how is... Halson, who is my only lead now, right? I think. Let's check the journal. My only... Remove the parasite. Rescue the druid Halson. And this has a little star next to it. Okay. And find the Githyanki Kresh. All right. 
The druid Halson was researching the parasite. He might be one of the few people who understands our condition. We need to find him. Hmm. He might. He, I don't know. So this is this is what I'm wondering. How fast is news going to travel in this game? Will they have allowed that he might not know when we find him, or that news hasn't reached him, and maybe he will become <laughs> angry with us when he learns that we started a war between the tiefling and us and no oh boy oh boy this is just gonna be a disaster yeah all right so this is the other thing too we completely disappointed uh lazelle because we were supposed to find zoru somewhere i don't even know who that person was i don't know if we ran into this person already but lazelle told us that a githyanki should be able to cure us if we can find one of her crushes someone named zoru should know more i thought they were dead i thought we failed that she yelled at us when we talked to her i don't know all right well change of plans also let's see what this is a goblin camp. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. All right, let's do this. Let's, um... Oh, fudge. All right, let's get out to here. I am curious, before we get all the way out of here, this is a long trek. Who knows what, what is in store for us there. I'm going to see if we can sneak our way back over here and just take a look. Just take a look. I don't know. Maybe all that gets cut out and it's just uh, me going, yeah, that didn't work out. All right. Off we go. Oh my god. <laughs> completely, completely not what I was expecting for today. I really thought, I was like, oh, we're gonna go to sleep. We're jump that's why I started in the camp. I'm like, we're jumping right into combat. Is this where he- Oh, wait, hold on, this is where we had the, uh, the fight with them. Alright, let's get over here. Wait, we're right here. Alright, let's get over. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever happens, happens. It's strangely shiny here. Oh, that's poison. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Damn. I am enjoying our walks together. Aren't you, Dan? Um, sure. In silence. God damn it, you bastards. Be nice to each other. <laughs> that was the first nice thing Asterion said. I'm We're not going to spend too much time here, but I'm, I'm curious. And, well, Somebody jumped. Needed. Yeah, no, they jumped. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Not at all. Not going to happen. All right, well, that's that. <laughs> This fucking completely destroyed. We can't, so that's the, that's the gate and we can't get in there. All right, let's go up this way. Let's see if we can get around. We can't, there's, I'm not going to be allowed in here and I'm totally except, what is this? I believe this. Can I get up here? I can't. I'm a good jumper. Oh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Before we go up there, let's go look across the way here. This is where we're going. We can't get there from here, but this is where we're going. Oh, look at that. Oh, maybe there's another survivor down here. Oh, this is fucking cool as hell. <gasps> what is all that? Oh, this is really cool. Damn. Oh my god. I am so officially pumped for this game. <laughs> I mean, so very much of it has to do with that last episode, literally, like... Coming to to no understand that yet. that was not the intended outcome was that we go to war with druids. Very much not so. Like, I have a very edge case here. Oh my god. Are we going to get attacked? No. There. Um, that is, um, that is exactly what I'm looking for in a game. The ability to go off the rails like you have my attention. All right, nice. We got some tools and some rope. Does rope have any use? It seems like it should. Right, there's a fire barrel. I don't love that. There's a heavy chest. Let's get up here and see if we can search the chest. Uh, I'm getting just a little distracted because I'm seeing things I've never seen before. There's a little camp down here. Someone's having a long rest. Oh, we might go down there. Mm, that's not even on our beaten path. All right, first things first. Let's open this chest. Some tools and 45 bucks. I love it. We'll check this skeleton. And I see a little cave. Oh, nice. A divination cantrip. All right. Oh, it adds guidance. Even more guidance. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, we'll take the the necklace. Necklace has a harper sigil. Why were they here? I don't know. I know what harpers are because of the movie. <laughs> All right. You already have divination. You have a, a silly necklace. We like to stay blinged up, so these guys are blinged. Potion of animal speaking. When did I get that? Or right, we'll be using that. Uh, you got nothing. Plus of power. Oh, I think someone mentioned this in the comments. When the wearer hits the creature with a weapon attack, it receives a 1d4 penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. The same penalty applies to anyone using the gloves 
without bearing the Absolute's brand. This is, again, I need to really be reading the fine print on these things. Do I have other gloves? I have metallic gloves. Can you wear these? Oh, you can, and you get strength saving throws. There you go. Merry Christmas. You can hold on to those gloves, though. Here, I'm, I'm too heavy. All right, is this a thing? Can I search this? This looks very uh, purposefully interesting. Huh. All right, that didn't give me much. <laughs> he just said that's curious. All right, I guess I'm reaching in. At the back of the crevice lies a bag covered with spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. How desperate am I for a, a coin? All right, let's survey the spiders. Can I get some guidance? Look at this. Oh, can I use both? No, I can use one or the other. All right, Shadowheart, you've been my guidance so far. Keep being my guidance. You're my good luck charm. What am I going to learn about spiders? <laughs> the creatures clutch the pack possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. What the fuck do I do with a spider's egg? Oh, wow. I'm good at both of these. I'm going to soothe the spiders. I'm a bard. We're a bard. We're soothing the spiders. <laughs> one by one, the spiders... Oh, nice. It just works. The of the crevice, I didn't have to roll. Lulled by your murmurs. Boldly reach for the bag. Go you for it, Hithic. the bag. Something clinks among the coins. All right, what was in it? A spider egg. What the fuck do I do with that? It's a bonus action. I guess I can throw that at somebody and they'll be covered in spiders. Nice. <laughs> Good. All right. We'll go take a look at this door, which is definitely going to be inaccessible. I'll probably learn that uh, I'm going to get hurt by these vines if I come too close. All right. Let's go grab this mushroom. And we'll use that as an opportunity to get a little closer to this... Uh, these tracks. Goblins? These tracks, goblins. Oh, and there's a backpack. I don't see goblin tracks. I definitely want to go down here and say, oh. There is a dead, exsanguinated boar. Hmm. Maybe that's what the goblin tracks they were talking about. Oh, and there's another little, like, cave. All right, let's go see this cave first. Man, there's way too much to do right now. I want to go up over this way and see if there's more. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Novice of the Absolute. That's the, um, gloves that I took off of Shadowheart because she does not have the bearing of the... She's not bearing the Absolute's brand. It. You're going to be all right. All right. Something's it's afoot. Let's head over. People up ahead. Something's wrong. You're all right yet. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Illithid persuasion. You can use special powers that are growing inside of you to persuade this person. Select the illithid option. Oh, nice. So I can use my tadpoles. All right. Uh, oh, shit. I go where I wish. All right. Let's see. Whatever. Quite literally, I'm going to roll those dice. <laughs> Let's go. Illithid wisdom. Oh, nice. It's one of those. I'm definitely going to win unless I get a one. Oh, I forgot to take my... Uh, doesn't matter. I forgot to take my my guidance from Shadowheart. Nice. I'll go where I please. I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Bruh. Did I just lose a piece of my brain by using <laughs> using the illithid wisdom? Let's hold this there. Let's do it. Let's go for it. We're in for a penny and for a pound. We already messed this up as bad as it can get. Let's go. <laughs> Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna, new recruits. Yours to shepherd. What? Protect them. Mind the true soul. He will. He. <gasps> Did I just get followers? Okay, I have no clue. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Let's start with what happened to your brother exactly. 
We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. Is that is that the cave I was literally just about to peek into? <laughs> I am definitely not telling them I'm a survivor of that crash. All right, yeah, 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 we'll go with this one. These fugitives you speak of, tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone <laughs> who survived Good. that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found at any cost. I don't want to hint that we're... I'm definitely not telling them we're, we're survivors of the crash. So I feel like that's going to go sideways. We don't even know who these people are yet. And I'm worried if I say, explain this Absolute to me, they're going to be like, you don't know who the Absolute is? Like, because it seems like they think we're one of them. Fuck it. Let's do it. Explain this Absolute to me. What? Are you... Oh, no. Are you testing us? Yes, yes, the I'm testing you. is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, Trussel. You don't need me to explain that. No, I don't. A true soul, <laughs> like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Oh, I like these two. All zeal and no brains. All right, good. Yes, I was testing you. <laughs> oh my god, this is <laughs> so good. A crude summary. You have more to learn of our faith, novice. Oh my god, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's fake it till we make it. We'll go with number one. A crude summary. You have more to learn of our faith, novice. I'm sorry, true soul. <laughs> I only repeated what I thought I knew. It seems the absolute still has a great deal to teach me. Damn straight. Now get out of here. All right, forget the forget the owl bear. You're still alive, so go. What? And and just leave Ed. I suppose I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. Yeah, may he guide you to better explanations of what the absolute is. You were being tested and you passed barely. True soul absolute what were they raving on about? They're devoted to this absolute. Whatever it is. This could spell trouble. This could spell you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this could spell useful. All right. Uh, Shadowheart wants to talk. Let's talk with Shadowheart. Did you feel that? It wasn't us doing the talking. There was a power behind the words. The parasite. We spoke, but it commanded. Yeah, all right. So this is a really good question. But just who's being manipulated here? Those we spoke to? Us? Both? I'm not sure I want to know the answer to that question. But I doubt these pests are acting out of kindness towards us. We have to be careful. There's a lot we don't know, but we still have a choice. For now. And it looked like using that wisdom ate a- Whoa, what are you doing? Gail, calm down. It looked like using that wisdom ate a piece of my brain. Man, this is a really pretty game. My word. Good job, Larian. We're just in the early access. I mean, I, it's not going to get much better looking than this, but it's still very nice. All right. First, let's search this guy, see if he had anything interesting on him. The man is oh. dead, but something shifts beneath his features. Is it a tadpole? A glistening tadpole emerges, slithering past a sightless eyeball. The same as the creature behind your eye. Oh, all right. Um, let's let's observe it. Let's see if we can learn something from it. I kind of want to crush it so it doesn't like it's going to scurry off into the woods and then get somebody else. But whatever. Let's observe it. It seems to curl upwards in recognition, then shrinks back down, eager to escape. All right, let's crush it if we can. Let's crush it. One scores should do it, but you stop short. Does it How mind control us? How could you think us? of harming something so beautiful, so pure? Well, we're not very strong, so we'll go with inside, I suppose. Can I get some guidance on this, Shadowheart? Thank you. Oh! Ah, <laughs> oh, screw you. <sighs> we'll hold our inspiration in case we need it. We're in uncharted territory here. I feel like we made enemies with druids. Like, I feel like this is just all about to go off the rails. So we're going to hold our inspiration. We'll just see what happens with this thing. 
If it crawls in my eyes, so be no it. No use. Your mind is not your own. For reasons you can't explain, you want it to live. It slithers away and vanishes into the undergrowth. <laughs> <laughs> Astarian disapproves. What did you want me to do, Astarian? Away, filthy little monster. All right, let's see what Astarian has to say about so, this. We're blessed true souls, handpicked by the Absolute, just like their ex-brother, who, by a remarkable coincidence, also had a mind flare worm in his skull. So is that how we're meant to turn out? Brainwashed cultists? Probably. But at least we know what's scuttling about in our heads. He seems completely unaware. Ignorance is bliss, I suppose. These are very true things. Am I guided? Is that why I'm shining there? Yeah, I'm guided. We can go down here for sure. There's also a coffin there. I don't know how real that owl bear is going to be. I don't know if that's just one of those like, oh, there was an owl bear kicking about, or like, there really literally is an owl bear like five feet from here we need to be careful about. So, with that in mind, I would like to go see what this exsanguinated... Yeah, this guy. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. All right, dude, calm down. Uh, I don't know that I have any medicine, but yeah, let's examine it. <laughs> I can charm a person? Right, I'm gonna go with guidance. Am I char did you do this, Asterian? Did you did you eat this this boar? <laughs> the boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two mm -hmm. small puncture yes. wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? It seems to be missing all its blood. Let's go with persuasion. Let's we'll, we'll, let's go through it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, there, pal. We're not charming him. I'm not gonna make him angry at me. I've learned my lesson with this nonsense. <laughs> we will roll with our guidance. Come on, nice. We're so charismatic, dude. You had no you had no hope against <laughs> against Hathic. I. It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. Says the pale guy with the worry. sharp teeth. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. <laughs> now, please, let's go. All right, we'll let him off the hook. Okay, good. All right. Is this a real road sign? It is. Let's take a look. West, Baldur's Gate. East, El Torel. All right. So we're facing towards Baldur's Gate. There's some blood over here. There's an, another sign, maybe? All right, it does indeed seem like this is our only way forward. West to Baldur's Gate, which I am... What did you I'm... mean before, Gale? Oh. A woman with shadows for eyes, you said. Yeah, what did you mean? Merely that if the eyes are the mirror to the soul, yours have dark curtains across the mirror. No offense taken, I hope. Not necessarily. I haven't made up my mind about you yet. I haven't made up my mind about any of you. All right, I guess we will check this ransack. Oh, dead bodies. All right. All right, let's be careful. A dead adventurer, a dead goblin. Hmm. All right. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. That's what I just said. What All right, let's see what these guys the had. Damn, you guys had a ton of good stuff. Ooh, a goblin's drawing. Can I read this? Let's read it. Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures. A goblin with sparks in its hand, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. Interesting. All right, well, I guess we'll take it because it's red. All right, I'm hearing noises I don't like. Is it safe in here? Probably not. All right, let's go sneaky, and let's go loot this guy. Is this a sign? It is. We'll read that sign. All right, everybody sneaky sneak. Oh shit, that is not cool. Everybody's perception just failed. <laughs> this is not good. All right, I'm gonna guess there's a trap inside of this door that I can't see, so we're not gonna go that way. There is much less stuff out here, though I do think I see some more blood. Let's come out here for now. Let's see what's out here. I don't see anybody on the walls. There is, we can see bodies, so that's good. I was gonna say they might not have rendered. Sometimes they don't render 
Until you actually can see. Oh, there's a um. No there's sign a of tentacles. Wait, 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 I'm missing something. I just missed all that goofing around inside of this uh, little city here. Um, it looks like there is a fast travel mark inside that city. So I'm gonna guess I'm supposed to go in there, but I also don't want to risk blowing up. All right, there's blood. We're coming over here. Let's go out to the beach first. There's some fishing supplies and a trap, it looks like. Let's go. Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarion? A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. All right, calm down. <laughs> you must be eager to get back then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. There's literally four of us. The slimmest pickings. Holy shit, there's a goat. No, it's a dog. It's got a name. Oh, and there's somebody dead here. All right, we're going to go talk to the dog. Wait, 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 wait. This is what I have this for. I have a potion. We're taking the potion. Where is it? Potion of animal speaking until long rest. Boom, we're taking it. There we go. All right, we're going to go talk to this dog. <laughs> I have something to ask. I do. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. No, come with me. What happened here? I told you to go. Uh, let's go with persuasion. I'm not an enemy, I promise. I don't think it cares. I think it's actually trying to help us, but whatever. We're brave. We're, we're, we're foolhardy, <laughs> if not brave. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah! Woo! All right. <laughs> By the skin of my teeth. Mm. There's death in your scent, but not in your words. Still... You should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. We have health potions. Uh, yeah, we'll be honest with him. I, I don't think he's gonna wake up. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. No, 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 no. Come with me! Uh, let's start with what happened to your friend exactly. Let's find out what we're getting ourselves we were into. Attacked. We're attacked. Cackling, furry things on two legs. And their smell. It was strange. Rotten. Evil. You know the creatures he describes. Knolls. I do. Uh, what's your name? Oh, nice. Come on, you can travel with me. You can do the same. I'm gonna. Oh my god. Did I just get a hat and a dog? All right. Come on, you can travel with me if you like. No. Oh, no. I don't want to shout at the corpse. I'm going to draw those things out. All right. If he doesn't, we're going to go with this. If he doesn't wake up, follow my scent. I have a camp. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. All right, it's not stealing, so we're going to take a look inside. We'll read all his letters, we'll leave his boots, we'll leave him with his money, but we're going to read his letters. Gomwick, be doubly careful on the way back to Baldur's Gate. I've received more reports of attacks on travelers throughout the region. I can't have my best messenger winding up face down in a ditch somewhere. Watch yourself. Better late than never. Postmaster General Danzo. All right, that's a bummer. A soft letter? Davin, it's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've named him after his father. Come back and see us as soon as you can get leave. Love, Flora, and Davin Jr. All right, so I'm going to guess this is a personal note, and these are letters he was supposed to deliver. Do I take these and help deliver them? Mm, I don't know. Nine fingers. I won't come back to the city. Not while you have your thugs looking for me. If you want the debt paid, you'll have to trust me and collect it yourself. Go to the graveyard and look for me where Merkerwin is buried. Get digging, and you'll find enough valuables to settle matters between us. Don't go looking for me. I'll know when I'm safe. We're going to leave those. I don't want to take anything from him because I want this dog. <laughs> dog, I wish you would come with me, but whatever. Are these, uh, can I climb these? Here, let's come over here. Light on my feet. Best get going. Bye, Scratch. I hope to see you at my camp. Oh, nice. We got XP for that. You seemed quite forward with your compliments earlier. We'd only just met. Seize the day, I say. More now than ever. I don't want to miss them talking, but I also see that there is a back way in here. We're going to take it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to go into sneak mode. And we're going to come up here. Sneaky-like. There's no reason not to. We are in the Blighted Village. There is an opportunity it looks to leave immediately. There's a signpost here. We can get right outside. There's a sleeping dude here. I'm not going to attack him. A scrawny bugbear with decent health. We can look around and check out inside these buildings, I suppose. I don't see any reason... Uh, I hear stuff. Oh, okay. 
We got blood. We got that fast travel thing. I'm pretty sure that's a fast travel thing. All right, let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can do some some searching. It does not seem like there is much in here. There is a torch and a light hammer and an old key. I will take Where's the old key. Bag of holding? Oh, what is this? Oh, I could go in here, couldn't I? <laughs> oh, is that not going to be wise? All right, let's let's look through these things first. Don't don't fall in that automatically, please. Please pathfind around that. There's going to be spiders in there. That's that's a spider's nest for sure. All right, we got goblins, lots of them. I'd like to check out this chest and this shabby wooden door. Maybe let's do this. Let's see if we can get Let's get behind here. We'll search the skeleton. And we'll maybe see if we can, like, kind of go methodically through this and search this, uh, area. Oh, shit! I know where we are. Alright, we're gonna stay- <laughs> We're gonna stay very sneaky. Um... I'm pretty sure I saw a piece of this in, um, the panel from hell. There was, like, a fight right here. I thought there was somebody up here. Maybe it's later on in the game. In the panel from hell, it looked like there was somebody up. Alright, let's do this. Asterion, why don't you come out and go by yourself up here? No, there's nobody up here. Oh shit, no there is. There's definitely- there's multiple people up here. Oh, and they've got a full fucking watch on this thing. Alright, but we actually could get through over here. Alright, Asterion, back down. Back down, back down. It does look like they don't really have a good watch over here. Alright. We're gonna we're gonna let this guy do whatever he's gonna do, and we're gonna try to come through this way. I think. All right, go now, 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 now. Go, 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 go. Before somebody sees us, I think the the tied up person is the one that's seeing us. All right, boom. Waypoint discovered. I'm picking your lock. I'm doing it. <laughs> Add a bonus, quick, quick, quick. Give me guidance. Go. Don't come out of sneak. Oh my god! <laughs> a bunch of people just popped out of sneak. Gimme. What do you got? Take it all. Go. Shadowheart. Get back in a sneak. We have to get inside. Quick. Wow. This way. Go, 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 go. Shadowheart, what the hell are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You Damn it! Sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend. Uh, <laughs> take that. No. God damn it, Shadowheart! No, and you're the one talking. As the symbol glows, oh. power courses through you. <gasps> Authority. Uh, all right, yeah. No, let's go for Illithid wisdom. We've noticed he's got a symbol. This might be. Uh, this might not be too bad. Come on, zero check. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> all right. Add a bonus. Can we bonus ourselves? Yeah, let's do it. No ones, we're good. Boom! <laughs> I go where I please. Uh, uh, yes! Yes, true soul! A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Don't... Don't let me keep you, boss. Uh, lads were gathered by the windmill. Oh, I wonder if we can uh, convince them as well. If those are all going to be, uh, DC zero part. checks. Alright, we're being seen. And they're not upset. Alright. Uh... Ah, shit! Alright, yeah, fine. Leave me alone. Alright, I guess we got away with that. Good. I guess they're friendly. The goblins respect us because we're true souls. Oh, nice. A, uh, alchemist shop. With, uh, a potion of healing. Sweet. Alright. There's an apothecary's ledger. We'll read that. The ledger is filled with cultivation instructions for a range of medicinal plants. One entry is underlined. Deliver specially requested plants to the cellar. Keep away from prying eyes. All right. Yeah. Well, we're gonna it go into the cellar. A cellar here somewhere. Yeah, it's right behind you. Like literally. I don't <laughs> see one. Are you? <laughs> oh my God. Shadowheart just never changed. She's standing on the door. <laughs> I don't see one. All right. Well, hey, we don't got you here for your perception, Shadowheart. We got you here for your guidance. All right, into the basement we go. I'm. A, it seems like everybody here is long dead. The one like humanoid skeleton, the one humanoid thing we saw was a skeleton, which had to have been dead for a long time. So, I don't see anything dangerous in here. So, let's see what you were hiding. 
Nice, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, a healer's log, let's read that. Patient, Samson, occupation, blacksmith, malady, gout. Comments, Samson's become accustomed to the good life since he acquired that new apprentice. I gave him a tincture of autumn crocus and told him to avoid red meat and ale. Patient, Branley, occupation, Cooper, malady, large wooden splinter in hand. Comment, splinter removed, wound cleaned, doused in balsam ointment and bandaged. Patient Timic, occupation none. It was a child, swallowed bottle cork, no hardness or blockage in the stomach. The cork should pass without causing harm. I gave the lad a stern warning. Patient Dida, occupation apprentice blacksmith, minor burns to the face and hands. Uh, another burn for Samson's eager young apprentice. The usual treatment was applied, but I urged her to slow her pace at work before she inflicts real harm on herself. All right. This has a very Larian esque uh, beginning. Are you fucking kidding? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I was literally just like, this has a very, like, Larian-esque, um, in the ship, in Dio, in Divinity Original Sin 2. You have to, like, move the barrels to, like, put them on stuff. All right, there is a lever back here. Hmm. Scratch marks on the floor. All right. Oh, is that going to be, is that's the lever, that's the lever for this. Ah, uh, okay. I, I guess we maybe we're gonna meet the alchemist <laughs> as actually a necromancer. Mm. All right. Well, we're not gonna know what's in here till we get in here. I'm sure that's gonna be a fresh nightmare. Nothing there. We'll pull the lever. We'll go in a sneak just in case something comes running out. No, so far so good. Is this a door? Oh yeah, for sure. All right. All right. We can't see in here yet, but I have a feeling I'm walking into a terrible ambush. Uh, nothing yet. All right, let's get a little closer. Yeah, there's there's the save. <laughs> there's the save before something terrible happens. All right. Uh, there's a book. And there's a lot of coffins. A moldering casket. All right. Let's step in. We're going to read this book. Keep an eye. Azuth, the god of wizards all, who spend their whole lives learning. He grants their spells both big and small, for Mistra always yearning. Bane the tyrant, the black hand, makes sure the strong do rule. He spreads his darkness through the land, praised by the harsh and cruel. Bashaba will bring forth your doom, unless you chant her prayer. Split from Tamora in the womb, she brings bad luck to spare. Uh, I guess we'll come out of stealth. I'm assuming this is, yeah, this is, this is a door. <laughs> Oh, interesting. I can't see in here anymore. We were able to see behind this. I guess on the others when we were actually inside of the, uh, his, like, secret laboratory or whatever. I'm gonna guess we're gonna step through here and find an alchemist that is also a necromancer. <laughs> Seems like he is doing some necromancy. Uh, let's walk around a bit and see if we could get some perception inside. checks going. Then we'll raid these caskets and, uh, pop open this door. Oh my... God. <laughs> no. Where are you going? Get over here. Oh my god! No, 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 no. No! No, 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 no. Okay. Alright, whoa. I thought they were gonna run and like open up all these caskets. <laughs> How strong are you? Mm, you're kind of strong. Ah, Jesus. Alright, 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 alright. This is not ideal. We are not in the best spots. Uh okay, and just in case their their goal here is to, um, shit. All right, here's the deal. Just in case their goal is actually, because they're not facing us. <laughs> I thought he was gonna go for high ground, but clearly he woke up his friend. Um, we're gonna try to get out in front of these guys. But before we do that, let's, uh, let's hit you with a missile. Oh. Do I have enough movement? I do, here, let's get in front of this. All right. We'll leave him there. Shadowheart. Uh, you could probably finish the- Oh, shit. Turn undead. Present your holy symbol and pray to turn all undead that you can see. That means they're on my side, right? Whatever, we're gonna try it out. These guys are undead. We're gonna try to turn one of these guys. Go for it. Turned. They're both turned and their saves failed. All right. We'll see what happens with that. I'm assuming they're on our side now. I think that's what that means, right? Let's give you a push. Nowhere good to push you. I'm not pushing you towards things. 
Hmm, I guess let's not give you a push. Here's what we will do. Oh, yeah, they're definitely on our side because they're not attacking. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here's, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna push him back further. There. Is he un-unturned now? I probably unturned him. <laughs> it's fine. Alright. Damn it, he's running around. Knock it off. And you, you're on my side. Right? Oh, wait, does it just skip his turn because he's on my side? I like that. I like that. I'm with that. Alright, let's get Kasterian over here. We'll do it my way. He's sneaky. And he's gonna sneak attack this uh archer. Feel that anguish. Boom! One down. Alright. You can't do anything else, but let's let's start getting you close to where you're gonna be in front of these where guys. Alright, what can we do? 18 damage will put it close to death if we can get 18 damage. Let's try it out. And it's saved. <laughs> We're gonna have to do some damage. Let's give him a flourish. He's off balance. My save failed. Aethic, you know what to do. We'll go with the... Torment. Go with the magic missile. Damn! Alright, let's see if we can push him back, too. Let's keep these guys... I want them to have to run as far as possible to get to any further... Any fur- ah, uh, that's probably shorter, actually. Damn it! Alright, Shadowheart, you got this. Once he got five damage, you can do this. You can do this. I know you can do this. Nice! Alright, is that it? Alright. <laughs> I'm just- I'm literally like, do I risk opening the rest of them? <laughs> a short sword, which I don't need. We'll give Asterion this longbow for a bit. Alright. Asterion picked up a longbow. Alright, I'm not messing with the rest of these things. Um, I will, however, just make sure we walk to every area to see if we can get any perception checks. There's a lot of digging going on around here. I feel like I should be able to uncover something. I, go. I suppose not. Oh, there we go. Everybody failed their perception check. <laughs> Better not be cursed. It's fucking doors. Oh. Speak your name. <laughs> I was literally just gonna be like, this door is probably cursed. The door is fucking literally cursed. <laughs> All right, let's hit it with the. We're, I'm gonna go with the bard. We're a bard. Let's hit it with the bard answer. I know how this goes. Magic mirror, tell me true. What is your name? All right, I'm gonna tell it my name. I'm gonna tell it my name. We're gonna tell it our name. I do not know this name. All right, don't kill if me. You are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. Oh, done. Yes, we're of course we're an ally. Yes, I'm an ally of your masters. Yes, an ally. I'm an ally of your masters. Only a true ally of Illintoth may pass. All right. What think you of the Zalkir known as Zastan? You remember stories of Zastan, a powerful lich in Thay who made deals with the dark gods. Mm. I have no idea what this mirror wants to hear. Could a, could a mirror kill me? It's just not going to let me in. I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to be honest. We were honest with our name. A lich in the Thay who may deal with the dark gods. We're relatively nice people. We're good. We're altruistic. We're going to, we're going to go with a foul lich. May he die a thousand more deaths. Done. You are no soldier. Oh, shit. But oh, nice. Wise? Oh, am I wise? Tell okay. Me, why might one use balsam ointment? Oh my god, bro, we just literally saw that. Yes! I thought it was to treat burns, but I don't think the game would say I read a doctor's journal. Unless that's the thing. Alright, let's go for it. I read a doctor's journal. Use balsam to clean the wounds. Acceptable. Nice! Finally. If you could see anything in me, what would it be? Th that you get the hell out of my way. <laughs> Well, yeah, let's die. Absolutely. We'll go with the bardic answer. It seems like the, the, the nice and altruistic answer that we've been looking for. Nothing good tends to come of ambitions in stories like this. I would see you freed. No. This uh -oh. is my purpose. Oh my God. Just let me I in, lady. I know nothing else <laughs> you cared to us. No huh. others ever did. Thank you. Be welcome. Nice. 
Oh, nice! It opened up! Dude, that was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> that was completely unexpected. So far, I've made friends with a dog and a mirror. I really hope we get to see that mirror again. You a should well come to my, uh, my camp. What were they hiding down here? Alright, we just ran in willy-nilly. There is no one in here. There is a... a stuffed bear. Alright, there's no one in here. That's good. There's a jail cell. With a book. With eyes. Literally a book with a face. The Necromancy of Thay. Oh! Huh. Alright. Man, I wish they would have given me more options to, like, understand what the hell the mirror was talking about. I have no idea who any of these people are. Alright. I guess let's, uh, dive in. I really expected us to find a necromancer, but we didn't. Oh, here's a, uh, hold on. There's a lever over there that probably lets us back into the area that we were in, but just in case it also locks us out, we'll search the entire place first. Read the research notes. Raised dead. Failed. Gone too long. Body Yeah, I knew this guy was a necromancer. Body decomposed. Reanimation. Failed. Came back as a ghoul. Had to kill again. Speak with dead. Failed. Answers unhelpful. Oh shit, I should have spoke with those dead. Damn it. Maybe we still can. How, is, how long can they be dead when you get to speak with them? Uh, clone. Failed. Needs living tissue. Reanimation and clone. Failed. Had to kill both ghouls. Resurrection. Failed. Why? Magical curse? True resurrection. I have reached the limits of my skills and resources. The book offers help. Dare I accept? Ah, the necromancy of Thay. Search the cellar. You know, we also should have talked to that, um, the other, like, true soul that we found that died when we discovered that we were true souls. I don't know if it would make a difference, but... I mean, I got this stupid necklace. It lets me talk with the dead, right? Yeah. Uh, let's be a little systematic about this. We'll go... Uh, we're gonna go in here second to last. We'll go, uh, let's, you know what, let's open this up. Let's light this, uh, place up. Let's disarm this trap. Can I get some guidance, my lucky charm? Thank you very much. Nice. Alright, we're gonna do this second to last, and we'll go out the door last, and we'll make a clockwise run around here. There is a gilded chest. Let's see what's inside. More hats. Perhaps a nice vest to go with them. Oh, nice. A scroll of blindness, a scroll of hideous laughter, a scroll of thunder wave, and a circlet of fire. You gain a bonus action when you deal fire damage with a non-cantrip spell. Let's give you the circlet of fire, my friend. You look hilarious. <laughs> Alright, we'll see if we can put that to good use. My whole team only does fire damage via cantrip, so that circlet doesn't do much. Also, Gale, no take a back seat. How are you doing? Alright, we're gonna go out of here dead last. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go walk over here and see if we get another opportunity no to detect yet. any traps. Alright. Huh. Is there a key in here? Maybe in the first room? Didn't we pick up a key in the first room? Did I not pick up a key? I have a weird key on me. I have so many weird keys on me. A heavy key, an old key, a bandit's key, an elaborate key. <laughs> we'll pop that. Nice, it does indeed open. We'll search through here. Oh, a rusted key. Nice. There we go. A bag of rotten food. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is the key for this. Let's go find out. Is it? It is. Nice. Am I gonna get killed when I step in here? Alright. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. Disarm. The necromancy of Thay. Ominous. But Gale might find it useful. I can almost taste its magic. All right, Gail, hold yes. on. Yes, just the thing. Gail, calm right down. <laughs> because first, we got to make sure we don't get killed by whatever these things are that are about to spring to life. All right, we just make it out of that one. All right. Big money, no whammies. Nice, beautiful. All right, we will not make the same mistake I made last time with a funny looking book. Uh, Gail, why don't you read it? Sure. Let's read it. We'll start with reading it. Go ahead, walk around the back side of the table. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only Ugh. an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Huh. You've seen similar books in wizards' libraries. 
a tome on Thayan magic, a rare and expensive find. But people have gone mad reading less dangerous texts. Really? Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? <laughs> I'll observe from back here. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? All right, everybody calm down. All right, we're going to take it. He was interested in it. Gail sounded like he was interested in it. We're going to take it. This, I'm going to be cursed. <laughs> Something bad is coming from that. Oh, no. We just went into turn-based mode. All right, I accidentally just hit a key that put us in turn-based mode. That scared the absolute shit out of me. <laughs> Let's go see if we can have a conversation with the um, the goblins that were um, seemed to be terrorizing some dude. Oh, hold on a second. Before we do that... Yeah, I thought so. Apart from an overgrowth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. Investigation. Let's peer into the well. Nice. Dry stones line the wall. At the bottom, something gleams in the dappled light. Climb down the bucket rope. All right, hold on one second. We're coming back to that. We're going to go... <laughs> we're going to climb in the well. But... Before we do that, while it is safe here, while whatever effect we have going on, we're going to have a conversation with these guys. Rescue the gnome. Perfect. Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Oh, shit. Stop this thing! Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. Did you not have a mark? And you. Hope you got uh, a stomach for ice. I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> All right, whatever. In for a penny. Let's go. What in the hells are you doing? What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Why are you doing this? Because it makes me laugh. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go. Let's do it. Fun's over. Release the gnome at once. I'm the fucking... You True this soul. little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! Right. The mark glows. Nice, there we you go. You feel nothing in response. <gasps> your illithid power is beyond reach until no! you rest. Someone else step in! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, what's the thoughts to detect? I already understand. I know what his thoughts are. He's a freaking goblin. He just wants to torture this guy. All right, we'll go with persuasion. All of you lot against one deep gnome, you should go find a better target. Hmm. All right, I've got my guidance. We're not going to charm him. I don't want to turn this whole city against me. Here we go. We've got inspiration. I think we're good. I think we cleared it. Yeah, we're good. Get lost, you freaks. Get out of here. Yeah. I reckon we could do better than this run, eh? We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to- I said we're leaving! There's nice. plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us! Nice! Are you guys all getting out of here? Something to eat. Beat it. <laughs> Alright, that's very interesting. Scared meats! Yes! Oh my god, their- their dog talks. Unless I can just hear that, because I have Speak With Animals on. Um, so that's very interesting, you can't- Use your illithid power. How do I get you down? Let's do that. I was gonna, I was gonna search stuff, but let's um. Interesting. So it seems like it's once per long rest with that illithid power. It's very interesting. Uh, do I go up here? Well, let's see. First, there's a brake lever. Let's hit the brake lever. What are you waiting for? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, shut up! I just saved your life. <laughs> Best get going. Help me! Cut me loose! Dude, <laughs> fine. Oh, Maga Kamara, there's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. You know, yeah, literally, that is that is fantastic. This game has been so good so far. There's been a couple of times where like exactly what I want to say is in the options, and exactly what I want to say is get on with what. You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? I'd imagine Asterion wants us to do that, but I'm gonna say no. 
I'd rather know how you got caught. Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. All right. I'll travel lightly from now on. Well, thank you very much. You're a little far from home for a deep gnome. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. <laughs> deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in right, relax. Friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. Mm. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. Interesting. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> All right, he had a bag somewhere. Oh, there's another. All right, is this bag over here now? Yeah. He had a bag somewhere. Let's come see if this is anything. Oh, nice, and we can get a good view over here. Let's come take a look at what we're looking at. Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. Your gauntlet's glowing. We... we should keep moving. Uh, what just happened? Nothing. The trick of the light. <laughs> okay. But something tells me there might be a solution to some of our problems hiding in this wilderness. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go with persuasion and I'm gonna get you- <laughs> I'm gonna get you to give me guidance. If there's something you- you have to say, I'm listening. And, uh, oh, she won't give me guidance. That's good. That's actually- that makes a lot of sense. Uh, <laughs> Gail, you wanna give me a hand on this one? Thank you very much. Big money, no whammies. Nice. Come on, Shadowheart. Open up. There's signs there was a conflict around here some time ago. And different to what we've seen so far. Right. Conflict needs opposing sides. Whoever they were, they must have had resources. A little investigating could turn up something of interest. Let's go. No, I want to know about why your hand glowed. <laughs> Enter her thoughts. Now nah, we'll leave her alone for now. There's more to this. What aren't you telling me? I still got my bonus. I'm not going to charm her. I've learned my lesson. Let's roll. Big money. Nice. Lady, you can't resist the charms of my hat. Tell me what you're hiding. You're not going to let this go, are you? No. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. All right. The destruction of this Saluna statue looks like the handiwork of my brothers and sisters. Yeah. Okay. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. Done. You worship Shah? Blimey. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. I'm guessing this is, uh, for people who know D&D &D lore, this is probably a big deal that she worships Char? Uh, but I have no idea who that is, so I'm just gonna tell her, I don't care who you worship, we have bigger problems. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. What does Char do? I told you sooner. Alright, let me see if I can get her to tell me more about whatever the Char is. Now that the truth's out, tell me more. Talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to All right, see fair enough. Right now. That makes sense. All right, well, I think that's where we're going to leave it. While we have not yet managed to find housing, or I suppose any of the teethlings that were cast out of the grove, uh, we have made friends with some goblins and learned that we can use our illithid wisdom powers to control people's minds, it seems. Uh, at least once per long rest, maybe per character in our party, because we've done it twice so far, but I think it was with two different characters. When we come back, I think we're going to climb down that bucket rope and see if there is uh, perhaps a pile of coins for us to pick up or maybe some other necromancer's secret lair. But we will do that in the next episode, so subscribe for more Baldur's Gate 3, and I'll see you next time.